All right, the last video cut out, so I'm going to quickly finish chapter three of The Thief of Always. Let's find him a place. Who's Mr. Hood? The man who built the holiday house, Mrs. Griffin replied. Will I meet him too? Mrs. Griffin looked discomfited by the question. Maybe, she said. Her eyes, her gaze averted, but he's a very private man. They were up on the landing by now, and Mrs. Griffin led Harvey past a row of painted portraits to a room at the back of the house. It overlooked an orchard, and the warm air carried the smell of ripe apples into the room. "'You look tired, my sweet,' Mrs. Griffin said. "'Maybe you should lie down for a little while.' Harvey usually hated to sleep in the afternoon. It reminded him too much of having the flu or the measles. But the pillow looked very cool and comfortable, and when Mrs. Griffin had taken her leave, he decided to lie down just for a few minutes. Either he was more tired than he'd thought, or the calm and comfort of the house rocked him into a slumber. Whichever, he closed his eyes closed almost as soon as he put his head on the pillow, and they did not open again until morning. And that's the end of the chapter.